welcome back to another video. As you guys can see by the title, uh, I'm going to be doing a how-to video on how to install the antenna mounts for your Crown Victoria or generally really any X cop car. They all use the same base mount. Um, and if you guys are like me or you guys are thinking about buying a Crown Vic and your Crown Vic does have those holes, you guys will usually have one of these on them. As you guys seen on my car, um, and when I go to take them off, you guys will see them. But um, if you guys are new to my channel and you guys are looking into buy a Crown Vic and you guys have holes, they'll usually plug it up with these things right here. These are just plugs that have kind of a lip, as you guys can see. So it kind of seals it in. They painted mine white because obviously mine car is white. And I have five, six, seven. I've had seven of these on my car. And they're not the prettiest thing, I can tell you. Now, when I bought my car and I saw these, I immediately wanted to get rid of them you know i didn't want them there so i wanted to plug them up with antennas now all the antennas that i have in my car as you guys see the two back ones right there they have no function to them and the low jack that i'm about to put on also has no function to them i just want to throw that out there to anyone and i don't want anyone to think that this is a um how to tutorial how to wire up the antennas these are just how to put the mounts in i got a couple requests of how to put the mounts in so i'm going to do that this is my way other people might have their way but this is my way i think this is the easiest and the safest way to do it so I'm going to be showing you guys that now. Also, guys, we hit 3,000 subscribers. Holy crap, man. That's crazy. We're just blowing past the subscriber count like it's nothing. You know, the other day we were just at 1,000. Now we're already at 3,000. So thank you guys so, so much for that. Do me a big favor. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up. I want to try to get 100 likes on this video. Um, so let's shoot for it. Um, I didn't forget about the burnout video. That's still happening. Just got to find a place to do it. Like I said, again, I just had the low jack thing on my mind. And so yeah, that's why the burnout video still hasn't happened. But don't worry, it will still come. This door, it's so freaking hot. Here is my package. I got it in, I think it, yesterday or something. Just kind of wash out the mouse. There we go. And no, the crazy dude glue does not come with it. I'll show you guys why you would need crazy glue or any type of um, glue or even tape will work. But these are what the mounts look like. This is what they will come with. I got three of them. Those are what they look like. Also, when you buy it, it comes with instructions on how to do it. Kind of faded. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to pick that up. Basically, pretty self-explanatory. But a lot of you guys wanted to see how to do it. And if you guys are new, if you guys are new to buying a Crown Vic or you just don't know, then this tutorial will help you out a lot. I remember when I first did this one, I, I had no idea how to put it on. It could be the simplest thing, but if you've never done it before, if you're not used to it, then you just don't know how to do it. So let me open this up and show you guys what that little block thing is because you guys are probably like, what is that? All right, so this is the mount itself. It's got two pieces. The mount itself's got two pieces. You guys can see you unscrew it. This part goes underneath and then this part goes on top. And this part is actually for the wire that runs through it. Kind of goes in here somewhere like this, I believe. I'm not sure exactly how to do it, but I know that, that this black part goes underneath and that's for the wire to feed through. Obviously, like I said, again, I'm not putting any wires. This is just going to be for show. Um, so I don't need it, but do not throw this black thing away just yet because this is going to be a vital part to what we're about to do. And that's where the crazy glue comes in. But right now we need to go outside and we need to take off those, those plugs so that we can put our mounts in. You guys can see I already put one on and I have one, two, three. You're probably wondering, what about this one? This one actually is going to stay here and I'm going to put one of those. Those are magnetic and it'll fit right on top of here. So I don't have to take that one off, but we're going to take these off. And you might have a little bit of trouble taking them off. You might need to get a knife. Alright guys, so we got the first one. Comes off pretty easy. You can see a little bit of rust in there already. Make sure to clean it all up later. We got the first one off. So I'm going to show you guys how to prep now the mounts to actually put them on without the mount falling. Because as you guys saw, it was a pretty big hole there. And you don't want these small mounts to fall in there because if it falls in, you know, that's it. Now there is two methods to do it. I've seen people do. The first one is you can actually kind of just slip it in the hole as so. And then just tighten it. But I like to do it a little bit safer. 
This is where the crazy glue comes in. And what I like to do personally, and this is my own method, and I highly recommend it because I think it's, you know, the safest method in, in my opinion. I'm trying to put the GoPro somewhere where you guys can see it. Um. Hopefully you guys can see that, but got some crazy glue here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of crazy glue on this center right here. And I'm going to grab this black thing that's really supposed to be for the wire and kind of hold it up towards there. And what this is going to act as, it's going to act as kind of like a placement so you can hold it so it doesn't fall in. And it dries pretty quick. There it is. It's already dry. Obviously, let it dry a little bit more. So now when you go to put it into the hole, I can unscrew this. What you want to do is that. So now when you lower it into the hole, you can lower it in and you have a little bit you know, to play with. So you have something to hold on to just in case, you know, this part doesn't fall into the hole. And then once it's in, all you got to do is put the ring back on top as so, tighten it up a little bit and then tighten it the rest with whatever this thing's called. So we're going to go outside now and we're going to put the first mount in and then I uh, will speed through the rest. All right guys, so as you can see, you just want to let it in gently. You can keep this top part on. Kind of aim it in there gently should take a little bit to kind of push it in. Once you get it in, kind of hold it up. Just tighten it ever so with your hand. And then once you're done, you can literally just take this off. It's not gonna stick on there forever. You can clean up the gunk if you really want to. And then we'll just tighten it up afterwards. Now we're gonna do it to the other two and uh, we're gonna see how the final product comes out. get them on really tight but make sure that it doesn't slide off like sometimes you guys probably you guys probably seen it slide off a couple times and I almost hit my roof uh, luckily I didn't hit it anywhere but um yeah just make sure you tighten it but make sure you don't you know make sure the thing doesn't slide off because these notches are really small so but I got them all on and then the next step is really just the antennas but they look really cool even from back here they look really cool Oh yeah, and while we're back here, I also did update my stickers. You guys remember it was all black. Uh, the gray one came in and it looks a lot better. Everyone's telling me too it's a lot better than the K9 sticker because it kind of gives my car a unique look. And I agree, so I like the way it came out. I like the way it looks. Looks sick. Now with the low jack. Um, someone actually told me that they were going to give me the antennas for free. I was going to buy them. And the antennas are like $20 a piece, so that's like two, four, six, that's like 80 bucks right there. So, but someone is nice enough to actually give them to me for free. We're just working out how he can send them to me or how I can go there and pick them up. But, um, yeah, anyways, this is where we finished everything. I like to clean everything off. This is just some water and a rag. Kind of just go over it. Just wipe off any of the excess. Yummy. And there we go. Looks good. So yeah, that's it. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys learned a little bit on how to install these. Well, not really install, just put the mounts in. Uh, you guys saw the way I did it with the um, black, the little black thing, which is meant for the wire. Just put some glue so you can hold it in place. 
and so just hand tighten it until you can get the tool in there to do the rest. But it actually looks really good. I actually like it the way it looks just like that as well. I think it looks a lot better than these. Even just these mounts, I think, look better than these alone. Like, I wouldn't mind just keeping it like that. I don't know. That's personally just me. But then I got these two mounts. These are the um, Rosone mounts that I got. And as you guys can see, they're clearly junk because they're already starting to, to rust. But those are going to stay in the back. I don't have any plans on really taking these out, especially since I've already spent so much money with these mounts. These mounts, I think, were like $8.97. Free shipping, but still $8.97 each. That's like $37. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned a little something. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, and there's a fly running around my car. Great. Great, great. Now the fly in the car. It's pissing off. Oh, I gotta kill this one. Oh, this side. Out. Go, get out. Thank you. Hope you guys uh, learned a little something. Like I said again, it was pretty self explanatory, but if you guys are like me and you want to know a specific thing, like how to install just the mount themselves, you know, I know when I looked it up on YouTube, I couldn't find anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm not sure what next video is going to be. Hopefully, um, that guy, I can get in touch with him. And we can find out a way so he can give you the little jack antennas, which is really cool. That's going to save me a ton of money and a ton of time. So big shout out to him and a big thank you as well for giving them to me for free. I never really expected that, but thank you again. So that'll probably be next video, putting those on and kind of doing a showcase of what it looks like with all the antennas. Um, but yeah, until then, um, I will see all of you guys in the next one. Make sure to like this video. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. Let's try to get it to 100 likes. I mean, why not? Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. It's delicious.